not so early. I'm just starting because uh, I seem to have this early on in setting up or starting. So welcome everyone. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can do this without losing my signal. So far so good. I'm happy about that. And yay, there I am. Wouldn't this be uh, <laughs> funny if this was like the first? So okay, so that. let me turn that, turn that down. All right. Just thought I'd give myself a couple extra minutes to set up. Well, hi, Kirsten. Hi, Molly. I'm so glad you guys are here. I, got, <laughs> I jumped out of bed like at 930 and, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I got to get going here. <laughs> anyway, how is everyone? How are you, Kirsten? Hi, Kraken. I was looking for you this morning. You must have taken a day, a much needed day off. Oh my gosh. Hi, Lenore. Hi, Karen. Welcome, everyone. I'm just typing in my email here. Miss Gina, Miss Gina. All right, you pin that. Yes, thank goodness. Thank goodness all is well. Uh, yeah, you know, we worry about each other. <laughs> yes, you have been on almost every day. I was. So, if I did that, I'd, I'd be comatose right now. So yeah, put your feet up there, Kraken. <laughs> I did look for you. I thought, hmm, she's not on. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'll just go on a, a tad early. And then I know Tanya, Miss T, Miss, uh, T, she's not doing, she's sick today. So poor baby. So yeah. So it's hot here today, and um, I started out with a long sleeve shirt. So, but I changed quickly into my short sleeves. Yeah, I have um, a bunch of these cute little boxes here. And this pr really pretty brooch. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And it's old. This little pin sticks out. It's in really good shape. I love it. Looks like a miniature necklace. Miss Molly. Hello. Good to see you. Let's see. Get my other doodad here. Kind of hang out here for a little while and say hi. That's it. I'm wondering if you can see that very well. I'm just testing the camera. Oh, there goes my daughter. <laughs> she forgot. Hi, Elaine. Hey, Mom. Hi, I'm currently live on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> We check in every day. She forgot. Yeah, it is faux turquoise. It, I did, you know, I thought, oh, I'll just, it's not magnetic, but I did test it for sterling. It's definitely not sterling. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, it is Sunday. Time to call mom. <laughs> wonder if she's on YouTube. Elaine, everyone's saying... Yeah, I knew this would happen. That's why I wanted to go on a little bit early. Because it usually happens like, you know, the first 10 minutes. And I'm like scrambling, trying to, you know, figure things out. So this morning I had the luxury of doing so. So that was great. Yeah. 
so yeah it's uh one of those things where the internet really gets you it gets you maybe everybody took the day off <laughs> I know, I know Sue took the day off. Um, Tanya's not well. Of course, Kraken took the day off. And so, yeah, it's quite sparse out there. Owen, oh, hit the thumbs up <coughs> if you haven't yet. I don't know how many people in the chat. It says three, but I think there's more. But I just wanted to. see yeah now it says there's one in the chat <laughs> that's funny I can't tell I can't tell who's in the chat you know Let's see all these Let's see hi Emily welcome sweetie those numbers lie yes they lie Is there anything anybody wants to see first? Because I was going to go ahead and do the little little boxes. And I probably will do um, auction style. Um, only because um, I, I think I confused people last time. And I'm trying to make this as easily as easy as possible. But And then plus I can always revisit these things as people come in. Yeah. But I do have these series of boxes. I didn't even show them on a, a preview. Um, this one, watch my, this one is like, how many snakes do you see? I see one, two, three, four, four snakes. One, two, three, four snakes. And they're probably trying to figure out who's got a hold of this guy. One, two, three, four, five snakes. Okay, I see five. And they all have rattles. Hi, Laura. Welcome. But this is smallish. It's a cute little trinket box. It's got this right there. And then it is marked on the bottom. And it comes in this box. Harmony Kingdom handmade boxes from Great Britain. Still has a price tag on it and it's kind of made out of a resin super cute there is a price tag on the box oh it's called all tied up that's the name of this some people collect these they're really cool it started out at 34.95 he's cool he's like let me get a size that's about two inches. It's not very big at all. Cute little trinket box. Hi, Deborah. See, Emily, Laura, Deborah, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Anyway, so this is one of the, we can start off with this little guy. And we'll just start him off on a bed. Purple rain. Hello. Hello, hello. So we will do starting bid, do a starting bid of $8. And for all of you domestic um, folks out there, shipping starts at six. And outside the US starts at um, 14 or 15, somewhere around there. So if anybody's interested, we can always revisit this. I know there's not a lot of people in the chat, but the starting bid on this one was eight dollars. And it comes in a box. Hi Sue, welcome. <sighs> Yeah, 
Yeah, Sue, Sue took the day off too. <laughs> Good for you guys. Yeah, it's, you know, you gotta take a break. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been going strong all week long. All week long, you've been going crazy. Yeah, it is, sleeping a little. Of course, when you start your um, early mornings, it's early for us, it's like six, of course, and you've already had a chance to have a, have a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm gonna type in pass on that one. We can come back to it. I'll just take it off of here. Put it over there. Um, cloisonne, this one's old. There's the bottom of it. <laughs> Excuse me. There's the bottom. It's got some sort of an imprint in here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I did it. Oh, there I go. There. Did I freeze? No. Thought I froze there for a second. Okay, so this is um, marked here. Yeah, you know, when you're working that um, yeah. Oh, Kraken got to sleep until nine. Pancakes. Is it your birthday? No, it's not your birthday. You already had your birthday. <laughs> but yeah, your, your shoulders, you know, when you're holding things up like this, it does, um, it does tend to bother your back a lot and your shoulder. So, but this is a beautiful, nice, large fish. Pancakes in bed. Oh, <laughs> there's the inside. These are really pretty. This one has seen. This is really old. Needs a little cleaning, a little wipe down in here. And there's the inside of the lid. It's all enamel. This is just a really cool old cloisonne. Does need a little bit of a wipe down. But, I mean, it's showing it. It shows its age a little, but it's in really good shape. Hi, Bobby. Welcome. <laughs> Just want to let you know that your packages, everybody's packages, was shipped out finally yesterday. So, if you need tracking numbers, I'll get them to you. But right now, they're on their way. I am so thrilled. Yes. So, this one. So this one is a starting, I'm doing starting, I'm doing um, auction style, Bobby. Um, I'll probably do buy it nows later, but I'll do a starting bit of this one of eight. I know we love packages. Hi, Mindy Lou. So this one I'm starting bit at eight. I see purple rain at eight. Yeah, I love getting packages, you know, even if it's to restock my jewelry supply. I just dig right into them. I know Gina's the same way. She's just like, oh my gosh, open. Because <laughs> there's always something that drew you to either uh, purchase the lot or, um, you know, um, bid on a lot. So, because you want to find that one thing. So this is, I'm going to go ahead and call this, this, no one, uh, I'm going to call this sold. No one else came in for Purple Rain. So Purple Rain, you got it. Thank you so much. That's a lovely box. I mean, it's, I don't know how old it is, but it's old. I've got another older one over here too. Thank you, sweetie. Just smeared my, if my, where's my good pen? This one, my soup pen. <laughs> it's 
my my show pen. Okay, Purple Rain, thank you so much. Um, this one right here, I'll just do another box um, for all you fix-its out there. This is porcelain and it is a courting couple right there. This is, uh, the porcelain is in excellent condition. It even has these little felt things on the bottom, a little bitty felt, it's A233. I'm sure if somebody looked that up, um, they could find out what that is. The problem with this is, it's not the porcelain, it's tweaked right there. And um, so if you don't mind it being like that, then by all means, you know, just use it. It's, it's functioning, but it probably needs to be reset and that metal needs to be a little bit more. It's been bent like that for a long time. There's the back. But there's nothing wrong with the porcelain on this one. And honestly, I, I don't mind something that's got a little bit of an issue. <laughs> I use it anyway. But um, this one, um, am I missing anybody? Click it. Oh, click it. Yes. Click it. <laughs> the hinge is sprung. Um, it might be. See right there. I mean, there is a maker's mark right there. And then it's, I, it, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and this is that it looks like that's supposed to be bent so you can lift it with your fingertip. So there's that. So I will do a starting bid of $5. There's condition, I mean, the porcelain itself is in good, good shape. I'll have to wrap this up very carefully. Yeah, I do too, Purple Rain. I like it as it is. And um, I don't really do a lot of cleaning of this kind of thing I because I was I'm afraid purple rain oh I see Bobby at five um I I don't want to you know remove any of the gold leafing here so Bobby's ahead at five purple rains at six I have Bobby at seven. Yeah, it does, is there's stories to be told, you know? Purple Rain's at eight. I mean, this technically wouldn't bother me. I'd just go ahead and use it, or just as a little showpiece, you know? You'd have to have it at eye level, but it's cute. Okay, a Purple Rain at eight, Bobby at nine. Hi, Sherry, welcome. Bobby is at nine. You guys see that okay? Purple Rain's at 10. I mean, the, the enamel's great. This is like transfer. Bobby's at 11. Yeah, I was um, complaining about my insurance company again. Dermatologist called, uh, Bobby's at 11. Um, my dermatologist just called or, <laughs> and said, oh, we don't take your insurance. Okay, Purple Rain is out to Bobby and I'm gonna go ahead and call that sold to Bobby. Thank you all. Thank you too. I gotta put this somewhere safe. Pardon me while I pack this up so it doesn't get broken. Put a little tape on it. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys are sweet. No, 
everything worked out well. Last sale, and I apologize, and I, you know, sometimes things get mixed up. That's going to need more wrapping. I better post it on it. Okay. There we go. Safe, right where it is. Yes, congratulations. Okay, this necklace right here. I believe this to be horn or some sort of camel. Um, I don't know. Some side, sort of horn. You can see the... And it's highly polished. This is a really nice... It's all hand tied. Uh, this is a cord. I don't think it's leather. It's a kind of a bovine bone kind of thing going on here. But the, I mean, these beads are just incredible. And it has the Shambhala style closure. And then these two at the end, little bone or horn or bovine material. And this can go up to, is it heavy? Mm, not really. Um, let me put it around my neck. No, but I can feel it on my chest. But it's fantastic. Let me give you a full length measure. The drop on this one is 15 inches. Oh, my, my hairs. Okay, that didn't work out well. There we go. So you can make it as tight as you want. And we will do a starting bid of, might as well just starting bid of $8. It's fantastic. These, these pieces, I mean, look at the cuts on that. This might be layered. And then these are all beautiful round. And look at that one. This has a little bit of, I'll get that off. That'll come off easy. I don't know if it's lipstick or what. Yeah, looks like somebody's lipstick. Put that on there, get the paper towel. I just don't want it to get on my mannequin. It's dirty enough. There we go. That's really cool. I can bring that another time, maybe on a Tuesday. And we will continue. <laughs> we'll do pass on that one. Here's a stone chip uh, necklace. It's got all different kinds of stones in there. Uh, probably crystal quartz, maybe some jade, maybe some, I don't know what the pink one is. Hi, Jessica. And then there's these little, little separator beads in between. And the length on this one is, it goes right over your head. The length is seventeen inches. Let's see if you can double it. I don't think so. No, you can't double it. It goes over your head. Does it have doesn't it have any kind of a closure? It's a real pretty piece. I'll bring it up closer so you can see it. But I will do a starting. Bid. Let's just do a starting bit of eight. I'll make it crazy eight Sunday. <sighs> just it's so pretty.
I just allow time for the leg. I have Bobby in at eight, so we do have a little bit of a leg. If you can see all the stones, I see some of the crystal quartz in there and pink quartz. I don't know what the black stone is or the blue. Okay. Thank you for bidding, Bobby. I'm going to go ahead and call this sold because it's basic you know it, it could very it, what happens with auctions is they turn out to be you know buy it nows anyway i i know that um buy it nows are quicker for you know you can show more jewelry um and but i hey i think i'm the only one on for a little while unless there's somebody else on that i'm not aware of so why not take our time, right? Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, paper towel here. I have a lot of fun things here. If there's anything anybody wants to see, let me know. A couple of things were gifts to somebody. Paint was coming off one, but I think I will paint it for Halloween. These guys... These guys, um, this one I've had for a while. Um, she's in really good shape, Marilyn. I call her Marilyn. <laughs> so I just saw her and I had to have her. And um, I call this one Lucy. This one belonged to my mother-in-law. Her earring is in there somewhere. I need to glue um, glue it back on and find another earring. I don't know. Maybe she's, I just, the, the eyelashes got me. But this was actually on my mother-in-law's kitchen shelf the entire time I knew her. So uh, nobody wanted it, so I snagged it. <laughs> I know, they're so cool. Yeah. Head vases. We actually, uh, at the antique fair, we have um, um, a lady who sells, she only sells Bakelite, and it's expensive. But th she calls her, herself the um, head vase lady, not the Bakelite lady, because she has these head vases all over the place that are not for sale. It's hard to find them for sale, you know, at any decent price, but... Anyway, I don't know, should I sell this one? This is pretty. Maybe I'll do a lot. There's this one. I mean, you know, there is, this is, you know, retail store, mall jewelry. This is from New York. It's really lovely. I like it. I know, props. Yeah, I mean, they're just fun to have. I just, you know, kind of makes the background a little bit more interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a, a little bit of a lot here. So I have, this one's a choker. And this one has these crystal and pearls and glass. Let me get a length on this one. Yeah, this will give you guys a chance to just chit chat while I go through some of this. And this one length is 16 inches. Yeah, that goes around my, my neck pretty easily. So there's, you don't, you know. Standard size, I guess, is what you'd call it. We'll put 
that one in there. Oh, you can wear those together. That's awesome. This one also has a mark. This one says the limited. So yeah, we've got some, some mall jewelry here. Um, this one, um, you could probably add a knot to make it tighter. It's got all these little features to it. Kind of rustic. This one has a seven, almost, well, 15 and a half inch drop. So we have that one. Oh, and I do have a Chico's here, laying here. I call this mall jewelry, but you know, cause che there's Chico's in malls. But this one's cool. Chico's has such cool jewelry. Paperclip chain, gold tone, Chico's tag. It's just amazing. It's got a nice long extender. This one has a full on drop of nine inches. So it's 18 inches wearable. Put that one over there. So there's the front and there's the back and there's the tag. Nice, I love these larger lobster claws. Oh, hi Dawn, welcome. Well, this isn't going to go on easily. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Chilling in bed. Staying warm, staying nice. Have this cute, this is so cute. It says me we on it. Me we. It's just a nice little stretchy, but I mean, it's got these beautiful sweet beads. Yeah, I was very happy with this lot. This one looks old. Let me that one. Anyway, so I've got one, two, the Chico's, this one, this one, this one, and this one. All of these, if you want to see them up closer. So, you know, we'll, we're just going to call this Lazy Eight Sunday because there's a lot of lazy people just hanging out in their, in their jammies. So this is going to be for all of these starting bid. Eight. Lazy Eight Sunday, starting bid. So we've got this one. Oh, this just needs a little snip snip. I'll get rid of that. Oh, you know, I think it's a price tag tag remnant. Karen Stevens at eight, and I'll add this little owl crate pin to it. Oh yeah, hmm. I didn't get a chance to really look it up. I just thought it was a very sweet necklace. I'll put that there with it. So I have Karen in at eight.
<laughs> so we've got some really, I mean, there's one, one, six items here. Sherry Kelly's in at 10. Yeah, I didn't even look up the Chico's. I, um, it's, it's just, you know, hit or miss with me with Chico's. And, um, you know, some of their stuff is just amazing. Well, most of their stuff, I should say. So I have Sherry at 10 on Lazy 8 Sunday. <laughs> I think I'll make that the, uh, the video title. Karen in at 11. Oh, thank you, Kraken. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how many lives there are today. Just, you know, in, in the circle that I hang out with, um, a lot of people took the day off or they're not feeling well. Um, Sherry Kelly's in at 15. Um, I just, uh, you know, I'm sure I have, it says I have 17 in my chat, which is fine. I, you know, I'll be here if there's a couple. Karen Stevens is out. So Sherry Kelly gets all of this for 15. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you for your bids. I'm gonna put sold on here because no one else was bidding. I put up next to let you guys look at. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, and I think I started out with that. Um, this is glass. No, wait a minute. Is it glass? Maybe it's not. It doesn't feel heavy. Well, it's got a clink, kind of a clink to it. I don't know. So there's this one. This one's really cool. I think it's glass. I'm not sure. There's a little schmutz on there. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. It doesn't feel like plastic, and then it's like, iffy on the glass. I mean, when I was had it in my um, preview, it felt like glass. Let me put this, I need to bag this before I forget. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Let me put it on the gem tester, see if anything happens, if it goes to glass. Because sometimes there's some really good plastics out there. And um, it's, sometimes it's hard to tell. Let's just stick that on the gem tester, give it a measurement. It sounds like glass, but it's not heavy. I'm getting, yeah, it's registering as glass, but it's lightweightish. Oh, I was gonna get you a length. I do like the looks of this. You would too if you saw it up close and personal. This one is 19 inches, approximately. I don't know, any, any good news out there as far as neighborhood, like in your neighborhood or any family updates that we need to be aware of? 
I don't really have anything exciting to tell. Other than I will be out of town at the end of the month, so that'll be fun. So I'm going to do a starting bid. I'll do this one at five. Starting bid five. Let's see if I can get that to look better. This is a beautiful layering piece too. Thank you, Mindy. Well, happy birthday. I will, I, I will try not to forget. This one is just gorgeous. I will add this to this. It's sparkly. And it's got that little emblem on it. I didn't look it up. It does have a little bit of looseness here. Um, might just need to be a little bit tight off. And it adjusts like that. Oh, it does look a little bit frayed. But that just needs to be tight off. I will add that. I have Bobby in at five. Whoops. Oh, there you go, Mindy Lou. We're, yeah, make the most out of it. Plus, we were in COVID lockdown, too, so that's not fun. So, yeah, I think it's time to party. Aunt, that's such a, a lovely gift for yourself. Oh, wow, that's cool. Hi, Tanya, how you feeling? How are you? So that and that might just all go to Bobby Meyer. Oh, there's nothing, you know, it's, 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 I mean, getting sick in the, and I know it gets hot out there where you are very hot and no one likes to be sick when it's hot. It's nasty. I'm going to put these two in with it. These, I just, and what's nice is that the, the stretch on there, it's not clear or white, it's black. So, you, you know, it, you won't see any of the, anything. These are, these are fun. These are plastic. I can see the seam on them. So right now, I think, I think right now I have Bobby in at five, so I'm gonna go ahead and sold to Bobby. I'm gonna sell that to Bobby. All of these goodies, and this just needs a little tie off. Thank you, Bobby. Now, everything in this lot I was very happy with. And um, thank you, thank you to that reseller. I really appreciate it. Nice items. 
I was going to test this American Eagle Outfitters. Let's see if it's magnetic. It's not. Yes. No, I mean, these are quality pieces. These are, you know, although that, that Chico was, that one Chico's wasn't part of it. It's just something I had over here. All right, let me do a little quick test on this. Yeah, I can't say for sure. It's no, it's not sterling. So I will put. The, I'm going to start a little lot over here for some of these really cute items. Um, and warning, warning about testing with acid. Last time I tested with acid, I got it underneath my fingernail. Uh, wear gloves. This stuff is nasty. Decided I, I'm not going to do too much testing on the fly. No way. Oh, here's a pretty, pretty, pretty. Almost everything. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I couldn't read the little... Um... Yeah, you got to be careful with acid. I know it just, you know, turns the skin yellow, but it burns. And then... Um... Yeah, you can't mess with that. And the fumes? Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. This, I love, love, love this. This was, um, my, I don't know, my mom, she has um, a little bit of trouble with her sight. And she was having trouble detangling this one. But, um, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal at all. Let's see, do I have it backwards? Yeah, it may need a little bit of fidgeting. There we go. This is so cool. I mean, you've got these beautiful, this beautiful, uh, I guess you would call that, layer <laughs> and then some simple ones there's two simple this one i called the you know fish bones <laughs> and um uh, but this and then there's these coins they look they look greek oh isn't that fun oh okay Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Kraken. Bye, Kraken. Hi, Alex. How you doing? This one, this one I'm going to start a little bit higher because it's just, it's, it's perfect in every way. It's got all of these um, prong sets right here. Then it has, and nothing is missing. I mean, everything that I got is just perfect condition. So we will do a starting bid of $10 on this one. This is just so cool. There's no maker's mark, a little lobster claw. Let me get you a length. I mean, this is just so pretty. I have Karen in at 10. Yeah, my daughter claimed a couple of these pieces. I have Bobby in at 11. This one has a nine inch drop. It's fully extended though, so you can you can raise it up a little bit tighter. I have Karen in at 12. This is just such a pretty fun piece. Let me bring it up close so you can see all the beautiful crystals. Or rhinestones. They have Bobby in at 13.
love coins. Coins are so fun. They jingle jangle. I have Bobby in at 15 after Karen's 14. Those little jingle dangles. I didn't have time to go to Starbucks this morning, so I fired up the little espresso machine. Karen's in at 16. Bobby at 17. Kind of separating these as I go. I know, I made my own espresso. It folds. <laughs> la la la. Karen's at 20 on this. <gasps> This one's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, we'll do this one next. I fell in love with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and call it sold since there was no other bidders. Sold to Karen, congratulations. move this so you guys can see it. This is awesome. This is so beautiful and that's glass. That is the most beautiful glass heart. It's perfect. Yes, thank you all. I'll box this up really nice. Try and keep it straight for you. This is all glass and paper clip chain. The size on this pendant is, oh gosh, two inches. Is that right? Yeah, two inches on the grid. Beautiful paper clip chain. Look at the finish. Does this say, what does it say on there? Let me look. It says 925 Italy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Yeah. I do a quick test on it. Make sure, because I don't want to sell something that's not what it says it is. That's a nice, long 925. I better test that. Hard to test chains, but this one's a nice one to test. This is a nice long chain. Fourteen inch drop. Let me do a test on that. So you got a twenty eight inch chain. Let me put it on the gem tester. Yeah, it's testing as glass. So that's for sure, but it's, it's probably uh, Murano <laughs> is what I'm guessing <laughs> since it's on an Italian chain. Isn't that beautiful? That is stunning. I'll bring it up closer as soon as I'm done testing. Oh, you have sound on for two minutes? Wow. Yeah, this is testing for sterling. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Just wanna hold it. I'm gonna start this one out at 
25. Yeah. I have tiny deer, Deb. It did test as positive for sterling, so it's Italian chain, most likely Murano glass if it came from Italy. I, it's not stated anywhere that it's Murano. There's no information. Purple Rain at 26. It was honestly uh, Tiny's at 28. Thank you for your bids. Yeah, that's a stunner. Two inches. Look at the look at the, the thickness on that. Purple rain is at twenty nine. Look at the thickness on that. That's thick. It's a nice pendant. I mean, it's hard to say. You can remove the pendant and reuse the chain. Um, I guess here's the the link, and it does say nine two five Italy on there somewhere. I have. Deb, tiny Deb, she is at 32, purple grains at 33, yeah. Sometimes this is the only time I get a chance to look at things closely. Laura's at 35. Purple Brain is out. I believe um, it is down to Laura and Deb. So Deb at 38. Wait a minute. Deb, you're at 30. No, you're at 38. Yes, 38. Because Laura was at 35. Jen. Thank you for, for bidding Purple Rain. Okay, so Deb gets it for 38 is what I'm guessing if there's any other bids I, I'll do on this one I'll do like you know going once going twice anything that comes in before the sold is in it so I'm gonna go ahead and call it sold sold to tiny deer vintage Deb that's gorgeous Deb oh my gosh Congratulations. That is a killer, killer piece. Yeah. I know when I showed it and I found out it was 925, I'm going, mm, I got to be hoarding my sterling. But, um, Deb, tiny. Don't worry, 38. Nice one, Deb. That is gorgeous. That is a beauty. Again, I don't know if it's Murano, but it sure it, it sure looks like it goes with that chain. So, yes, the wood one, absolutely. I'll find it. Put that away. Yes, here it is. Meant, meant to be, Molly. Meant to be. This one's on a very, very pretty, pretty. Hi, Carla. Welcome. How's your Sunday going? Is this tangled? It's another one I'm going to have to untangle for you. Anyway, this is a wooden heart. I don't know the type of wood. Heartwood? <laughs> Is it heartwood? It's on this lovely chain that has these little balls on it. And... Oh, yay. I love it when people have lazy Sundays. I just love it. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> you know, I... Rosewood. Yeah, maybe that's probably what it is. 
I only know, I, I'm in the flooring industry. I can identify flooring types, but I cannot identify jewelry wood. <laughs> and this feels like it's very lightweight and soft. I'm just trying to get the knot out, folks. It's got a little bit of a knot in it. And it's didn't arrive with a knot in it. Everything that came in, came in beautifully. Ah, got it out. It does have an extender too, so you can make it longer. But look at how long this chain is. I mean, it goes on forever. To the pendant. It's pretty. Pendant size. This one's a little smaller than the last one. So this is about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And the length on this one fourteen and a half, and it still has some extension to it. It's like halfway through the extension. So put that one up. I just think that it's, the chain is so dainty and it looks so cute. So we will just go along with the Crazy Lazy 8 Sunday, starting bit 8. The chain's just gorgeous. And flip it so you can see the back. Oh, Molly's in at 10. Molly likes it. Yeah, donuts. Donuts. I know. What's your favorite donut? My initial flavor, my, my all-time favorite, of course, is the uh, classic glazed, you know. Um, and then um, oh, the maple bars. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Tina. Welcome. told everybody earlier I finally got out all of the packages yesterday peanut stick I think it may be a buffalo thing um, chocolate frosted oh yeah hmm I know cake donuts aren't bad either I like them especially if they're made at the bakery uh, fresh Tina Weena. <laughs> maple bar, yeah, maple bar. It's just, you know, they have to be fresh. Like, you have to go to the donut store, and then you have to, because we have a Kenny's Donuts right behind us. And um, when the kids were little, they would go over. Um, Hi, Team Marie, welcome. We, I would send them over to get, you know, a few donuts. Apple fritter, those are good, too. Yeah, yeah. So right now I have Molly in at 10. If anybody's interested in this, I could just go ahead and um, consider it sold. Let's see, find a baggie. Any other interest? Uh, it's a, a secret unless I have permission. I just wanted to make sure that it would be okay to share who I got them from, these wonderful treasures. So it's not a secret if it's, you know, I just, I just needed the permission. <laughs> I just didn't want to violate any unspoken code because <laughs> I'm telling you, I really, really appreciate everything that, um, you know, that was delivered here. I mean, it's just, everything's awesome. So, 
No, it's it's definitely not a secret where I got them from. I just wanted to um, make sure it would be okay. <sighs> yes. Membership has its privileges, you bet. Is that a yes I could tell who who sold them to me? <laughs> Okay, yes, I purchased these items via a membership through Hudson Vintage, how to collect and wear it. Um, she uh, had a private sale for members. And so, you know, I would strongly encourage you to, you know, that she has different levels of membership. Um, and I, I'm actually at the minimum. So, you know, it does have its privileges. <laughs> it does have its privileges. So um, if you get a chance, go check out her, her membership scale as to what fits in your budget. And, um, you know, um, I mean, it's, and plus, you know, she has, she has some really fun videos. It's not, you know, yeah, she's, she has a lot of fun. Dawn, good old Dawn. Oh yeah, this is a bracelet I'm gonna give, uh, give to my daughter. If she doesn't want it, I'll offer it again. But yeah, this, this caught my eye, Dawn. <laughs> I just love the little sushis. So yeah, she's a sushi eater. eater. Yes, thank you. Yeah, membership does have its privileges as far as um, this lot came, came to me. Um, I have some ear, oh, let's do this brooch. This, this is not sterling. It's a faux turquoise, southwestern style. It is so beautiful and it does, it does stick out a little bit on the end right there. So it kind of gives a little bit of the age on this one and here's the size <laughs> no that that video was fun a lot of chatting and just kind of laid back and yeah that live was fun so it's about an inch and a half by two high and if you put it on i mean you wouldn't see that bar across so it would it would appear well you guys you brooch wearers can figure that out this is just lovely. This is just a lovely brooch. And this isn't dark here. It's just see-through. See you can see through those little gaps there. So, but this is lovely. <laughs> you were in the kitchen. You're you're up and around. That's good to know. So this one I'm gonna do. Um, I'll just do, just do crazy lazy eight Sunday, starting bid eight dollars. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes she'll have like a pop up just for for members, but yeah, she has a, it's a sliding scale. I have Karen in at eight on this lovely, lovely brooch. It's definitely, yeah, no, Dawn's totally cool. Her jewelry is, oh. <laughs> Most of her, most of her um, live auctions are open to everybody. So, I um, mean, she has beautiful things. Yeah, she's totally cool. And sweet as pie. Sweet as donuts. <laughs> Let me make sure this works. Yes. This is 
this is nice and snug. It's not terribly snug, but it's nice and snug. I have Karen Stevens still in at eight. I know, Princess Casserole's having donuts. I know these, I love these chats where we get to find out what people are eating for breakfast. Um, Kraken was here earlier and she was having pancakes in bed from her kids. That was cool. If I could just get my dog to bring me breakfast in bed without eating it first. There we go. You know, it's just a little bit of a, you know, and it, as I work it, it's a lot easier to open and close. So it just needs some TLC. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this sold to Karen Stevens. Thank you, Karen. That's very pretty. Oh no, I don't normally, Paula's Donuts, yes, see we have Kenny's, but yeah. Um, <laughs> what did I do with my pan? Oh, there it is, click, click. So eight, eight to Karen Stevens. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, it's gonna be hot here today. Yeah, I was telling folks earlier that I had um, um, started out with a long sleeve and then um, I decided that, oh. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. Um, I bought this from Tanya and I fell in love with it, but this is what happens when you don't have the volume on, when your husband's in the room watching something else, you know, he gets annoyed with me when I, he hears the little voices and I, I fell in love with this cause it, you know, it reminded me of Alexis Batar, but all of those beautiful stones are there. The inside is so clean, but look what happens. I'm a size seven. My wrist is a seven. This is probably a seven, but look, I can't get, get it on. I can't get it on. I feel so terrible. So, um, and I believe, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I believe that, um, I mean, it looks like it's a seven. The inside measurement is, it's just a hair under a seven. It should have fit me. It really should have fit me. It's like 2.43, so it's a little bit, you know. Yeah. So, so you know, I, this looks like a squid. <laughs> My squid hand. Oh, it's almost going over. I don't want to be, not be able to take it off. But it's a hair under a seven, and it's it's just fantastic. This piece is fantastic. So I'll do a, I don't remember what I paid for it. I know um, it was a very fair price. And I'm gonna start this out at 10. I still love it. I wish my hand was smaller. <laughs> yeah, this is quite, you know, Alexis Batar looking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get this on. The trick is taking it off. And if I have difficulty, I would most likely not wear it. So, um, yeah, I don't see anything missing. Holler if you see something missing, but I don't see anything missing. Nothing's missing. Uh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not missing either. It's all there. 
This is not leather, Molly. I know, because if you panic, then chances are you're going to be losing possibly a valuable piece of jewelry. Because um, you have to cut it off. Or live with it on. <laughs> Which isn't practical. Okay, I'm Molly at 10. Yeah, it just... Oh, man. I just... Would hate to lose this but yes I need to have when I see something I like I need to have the volume on note to self I'm just gonna go ahead and call it sold to Molly This is kind of an elongated buy it now sort of thing, just to give everybody a chance to, to purchase something. How about another cute little box? This one's a fun one. Yes, congratulations, Molly. It's lovely. It's You'll, when you see it, okay, this box measures two and a half by two inches. It's wooden. Coco Bolo. I don't know. But you can see the beautiful wood here. Made in Costa Rica. There's the, the back. Opens. Ready for some fun. Look at this. There's the baby, baby one in there. Isn't that cute? And it isn't all. Oh, there's another one, like little nesting boxes. And here, this little baby, it opens. I don't know what you could put in there. I don't know what you could possibly put in there. But they're little boxes. I'm waiting for the ticky tax. Uh, oh, stamps? Mm, I don't know. I don't think you could put, you know, you'd, that little tiny one. I don't know what you would put in there, but yeah. Tooth Fairy Delivery. Yes. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with the Lazy 8 Sunday. Lazy Crazy 8 Sunday, $8. I know, I was waiting for the Tiki Tac song. I have, you could put one pill in there. So I have Gina in at 10, Molly's at 12. But I mean, it's so, it's so much fun. Yeah, I got this um, Purple Rains at 13. I just got this in a little, little tiny, And Molly at 14. It's just a little, a small little trinket box lot. Just a lot of fun. Out to my ladies. Okay, so it's between Purple Rain and Molly. And so far, so good. And that's teeny. That's a little teeny box. And the teeny box measures... One inch by, well, yeah, no, half inch, and by a little over half inch. So a little bitty box, and look at the, the wood on it. Look at that. Just so cute. Purple Rain at 15. There's the bag. In Costa Rica. Just 
fun. There's a slight gapage here, but you know, it's handmade. Molly's at 16. I know. Stop talking. <sighs> Purple rains out, so I'll go ahead and, and mark this at um, as sold. To Molly, thank you, Purple Rain. Thank you for your bids. Congratulations, Molly. Yeah, I was waiting for that ticky tack song. really cool. I, again, I don't know what you'd put in a little, but yeah, Tooth Fairy is probably the, for the little, littlest box. This is just pretty. This one even reminds me of maybe Avon or Sarah Coventry. Mostly Sarah Coventry. So, if anybody would like to see something special, I will try and locate it for you. Oh, I love these. These are fun. I'm gonna put them all together because these are fun. These are all really cool stretchies. There's five of them here. Whoops. Five of them here. This one is just these little medallions with a pinch to make it look like there's a a facet there. Let me see if I can get it on. Well, it's, this one's tight. This one's for a spell. But with stretches, you can <laughs> Yeah, these are for meant for a smaller wrist than mine, even as a stretchy. This one has uh, little facets, little stones in it. That one's got a nice stretch to it. That's pretty. This one has those little flapper things. And same thing with this one. So yeah, these are really cool. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Five stretchies. These are, gotta go feed my little fur baby. Thank you, Karen. Thanks for coming. So all of these, I will do $8 starting bid. Bye-bye, sweetie. Take a swig of coffee. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh, me. I have a tiny little critter. I bet you have a tiny critter. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> it would be have to be something super, like one pill. So all of these are eight. These would look so cool all together. See if I can put them on and show. It's got a little bit of a, yeah, this is, the, the string is in excellent shape, but it's too small for me.
And these really feel nice. They feel really good. They're not pinchy or, or anything. This is a cool look. Yes, drill a little hole. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the pass box. Okay, put this in the pass box. I'm try to find some more that look like this. These are so sweet. These got like little um, fetishes on it. And these are... These are genuine pukas. Um, they're nice and smooth. Have the, the screw barrel closure. This I'm just putting in there with it because it looks cool, the little pearls on it. But yeah, these have little, little purple fetishes, look like little animals or chips. So I'm gonna find more for that lot. Juicy bracelet. Get your size on it. It's got the little classic crown toggle. Um, and it says Juicy Couture on the front with the J. This is just her classic with a classic bracelet look. Um, I can't, I mean, Juicy usually has a lot of markings, so I can't be sure if this is fake. Um, but I will sell it. And the length on this sweetie pie. This is seven inches. This should fit me. <laughs> so we will do you know I don't know if there's a lot of fake Juicy. I know there's a lot of fake Betsy um, but in what I've noticed and I think I have a Juicy pendant here well, this one, this one doesn't mark. I know this isn't, this is real. So, this is real juicy, but it also doesn't, it's only marked on the heart. So, um, yeah. So, I have Bobby in at eight. Mostly the charms are fake. Yeah, I have, um, there's the back. It's got a little bit of, there's some roughness to it. I don't know, um, Carla, have you seen the price, the retail prices on some of this stuff? Um, the retail on Juicy can be very expensive. Um, Gina has the intel on Betsy. Betsy, uh, sold the, Betsy Johnson, um, sold the name. I'm not sure if she's still designing. So, Betsy Johnson, the corporation, um, the name was sold. And, um, if you've ever seen Gina's, um, videos, um, she has some classic one-of-a-kind pieces. Yeah. Okay, so I have, I'm just going to go ahead and call this one. It's only one person interested. And we'll call this sold to Bobby Meyer. Thank you, Bobby.
Yeah, um, uh, um, Gina has some amazing terms. I just see Betsy. Oh, this one's pretty. Oh, I love this one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to sell this on its own. Is it sterling? I wanted to check to see if it was sterling. This is the sweetest thing. Oh no, it's definitely not sterling. Well, no, nope, nope. Look at this chain. I don't know if you can tell, but that's got little heart loops. And then in these baby little, well, you can put one of these little charms in your baby box, Molly. Little tiny puffy hearts. You can make it a choker, collar length. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Yeah, I'm not finding a whole lot of Juicy or Betsy in the wild. Um, it's um, at least authentic pieces and the vintage pieces because I know Betsy doesn't have anything vintage anymore since she sold the name 14 and a half to a 16 and a quarter. This is so sweet. But yeah. There's a lot of collectors of Betsy, vintage Betsy, and Juicy in the community that can give you some of the intel on some of that stuff. Is that backwards? I wanted the hearts to lay flat. No, that's the linkage. This is so sweet. I love it. Oh yeah, one dollar. Seriously. I forgot how much it was, but I knew it wasn't a lot. <laughs> yeah. She does some really nice private sales. And so this one was a whole lot of fun. One dollar a month, yeah, not a big deal. Okay, so this one, starting bid. We'll do eight dollars on this one. This one is super sweet. I have Molly in at H. She loves her puffy hearts or any hearts matter. Let's see if I can get that little dangle dangle. It's that is so cute. <gasps> yes, you know, you could go to the dollar store, it's no longer a dollar, it's a dollar twenty five. So, this is a steal of a deal. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you go to her channel, it kind of gives you the brand. I haven't tried going on with YouTube. Um, I mean, no, I did, I do, I go on with YouTube. I don't go on Facebook much, but I think you can link through Facebook. Plus she sends out, um, texts when she's going on. So, um, there's like several ways that she notifies you. Email, text, um, YouTube, Facebook. Oh no, that, that's fine, Don. Oh, this is Lazy Crazy Eight Sunday. <laughs> um, 
I just have to, <laughs> no, don't take over. <laughs> don't worry about it. No, it's, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a value. So yeah, no problem. Uh, Molly. Yeah, this is just a crazy, lazy eight Sunday. These are fun. <laughs> Why not, right? Look at this owl. This one doesn't have a maker's mark, but he is so cute. He's so cute. I mean, I haven't, I mean, I've seen the typical owls for jewelry. And um, he's just amazing. Look at him. Look at his face. And here's back. He's got this little bow on. Um, probably could use a change, maybe. I don't know. Or a little bit of a wash. But that can come off. And there's no mark on the back. He's just adorable. I saw him in the lot, and I was like, oh, he's so cute. And then he's on this beautiful beadball bathroom chain. <laughs> It does have a little bit of discoloration there, but that's to be expected. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> he is adorable. We'll go ahead with the crazy, lazy, daisy eight. So I'll do a starting bid on him for $8. He is adorable. He's so cute. And no, it's not cheap at all. It's, uh, no, it does have some weight to it to make it feel like it's special. 16 inch. No, none of the stuff that I received is, you know, um, everything I received is well made. Well packaged. They have Molly in at eight. And two are not a cheaper. Cheap, cheap, cheap. No. He's, he's, look at his face. Oh my gosh. He's just too adorable. And he's got these little, little blossoms on the side here. Oh my God. A lot of detail. Little branches. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, there's my brother, Joseph Anton. Hi, Joe. How's it going over there? Sugared out. <laughs> Sugar comas. <laughs> Donuts, pancakes. <laughs> um, I don't think it's in Korea. I don't think it's morning. I think it's evening or is it I what time is it in Korea tell me Joseph oops smack watch out for the glass <laughs> this one I'm just gonna go ahead and no other interest. I will go ahead and sell that to Molly. It's going to a, a birdie home. There we go. Thank you, Molly. Gosh, thanks everybody for hanging out with me. It's fun. It's fun. It's Sunday fun day. Well, I think that's somebody else's 
day, but it is fun. These feel like they're glass. I think I'm gonna just start a little bit of a lot here. Not that they're cheap, it's just that um, this is lightweight and gorgeous. Beautiful summery. Just cause, you know, I wanna like maybe show some layering. choker. Put that up there. It was mine. Oh, you did? My brother was stationed over there uh, when he was in the military, and that's where he met his lovely bride. Pam, and they just went on to, they, uh, now they're just back over there visiting family. Oh yes, Sunday Fun Day was yours. Yeah, I, for, I forgot that. Oops. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's get back to, I was just reading the chat, sorry. <laughs> back to work. All right, I have a series of some really pretty, well, let's just hang on to those. I might come up with some more. These are just, they're just fun. And these, these aren't those aluminum cheapy things. These are actual nice bangles. And they're, they feel good too. They don't feel aluminum-y. And um, it's cute little stretchy here. So I'll put those together. Maybe come up with some more. 4.40 a.m. in the morning? Oh my God. Monday, so it's tomorrow. Oh, I have a little bottle of glitter. I have a little bottle of glitter. So it's tomorrow. This is cute. This is adorable. This has a little bottle of glitter. I don't know if it opens up. I don't want to try it because I don't want to get, no, it doesn't. Um, I don't want to get glitter everywhere. Little fairy dust. That's a good one. And it says best on there. Remember when Alice in Wonderland was, uh, it says eat me, drink me kind of thing. That's what this kind of reminds me of. in the future. <laughs> so we'll do, still continuing on with the $8. Best on there. So cute. Get your measurement. Hi, Sarsar. Welcome. It's fully extended. Did you have donuts today, Sarsar? That was, that. I see Molly at eight. Um, this is about nine and a quarter inches right now. Um, we were talking about donuts earlier and it's, it's at its max, but you can make it. You did? What flavor? What flavor? Sarcooter. What flavor did you have, Miss Sar? Sar? I hope you had your favorite. Today is Sunday Donut Day. We met her, you know what? I'm gonna rename this video. Sunday Donuts. <sighs> Strawberry fill, filled, oh my gosh. You guys are killing me. And an old fashioned, I love the old fashioned. Those are more cake-like, but they're fresh and they're freshly glazed. Oh, those are so cool. Yeah, my all-time favorites. I'm going to always reach for the good old-fashioned glazed. Um, I call them old-fashioned because I've had them since I was a kid, but, you know. So I have Molly in at eight on this cute little fairy dust thing. Sunday donuts here? 
I didn't see her come in. Sunday donut baubles. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, they just like Sunday drug is donuts. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and call this sold. To Molly. Thank you, Molly. Molly gets the fairy dust. It's really cute. It's interesting because once you, you know, I don't know what the camera picks up. And um, I, you know, or hides. Sometimes you can see great detail. And sometimes you can't. So. You look in a different bag. Oh, if no one buys this, I'm, well, never mind. I love this, and it feels large. Look at this. This is so artistic. This is amazing. It's green and orange and cream color, and it has um, dark green. And of course, it's perfectly round in the center, but look at how freeform this is. This is amazing. I love the green. The green's a perfect green. And it's a little on the larger size. Let me measure the interior measurement is 2.63. So it's over a seven. Yeah, the asymmetry. The asymmetry. And, you know, we'll just continue along the lines of... Starting bid eight. No plumbing. Oh my gosh. You kind of have to have plumbing. <laughs> this is fun. This is just. And here's another bracelet I love. I love this. It's, it's, you know. A plastic product, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's a little tighter. <laughs> Crazy hates. <laughs> um, this one is it's. I would. It says two point five eight. And I will do a choice starting bid of eight on these. Because I love them. I just think this is so pretty. Look at that. Well, I hope you get your plumbing, but you said tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, people have to have plumbing. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, um, this one is probably more of a standard size. This one's a little bit bigger. Sherry Kelly in at eight for choice. I have Molly in at nine. You could put him over a jacket sleeve, huh? <laughs> Sherry at eight, Molly at nine. 
just I just love that. That's why I like that other bracelet. Cause it um it's just the asymmetric. I don't know who started that trend, but I know like Alexis Batar has this kind of goings on. Yeah, you can put this over a, a sweatshirt or over, you know, you can, you know, or a jacket that would go over nice. If you had like a jacket. Oh, okay. Sherry is out. Which one would you like, Molly? The green or the ivory? I'm guessing you want the green one. Oh, <laughs> thank you. This, you know, if you have small hands and a small wrist, yeah, this would go over like a sweatshirt or sweater or something. That's a cool look. I'm going to offer the uh, green one to Sherry because she was bit, um, uh, bidding. So um, if Sherry wants this one for nine, um, I'll offer it to her first. <laughs> I know I do that too. So Sherry, if you want the green one for nine, I'll offer it to you first because you were bidding. Okay, thank you, Molly. I just want to be fair because I'm not sure what, you know. Okay, well, I'll wear this now. Look at how far it goes up my arm. But I can see this, you know, married with several other bracelets. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you very much, Molly. Okay, what other goodies are in here? This one's fun too. Cute little corded necklaces. That's a pretty little, I might, might do a lot here. I think I've got enough here for a lot. I mean, I just want them to go together. So we have two chokers and a kind of a metal stretch mesh. Just a little bit of stretch. And it's cute. Look at that. Some looks like dyed halite here. And some rondelles. And then this really pretty almost a choker is from New York. And you can move these beads around. That's the fun of it. These are, are not on leather. It's kind of a um it's a material, a faux suede, if you will. Oh, Sherry can have the white one? Okay. And so, and then this one, 
this one is also like a suede type of it's faux suede but it's these are like woven into the chain and there's the maker's mark on that one I don't know who makes that but these are all cool very summery And so I will, and that again, call it Sunday Donut, $8 for the lot, starting bid. I think this is something my daughter would love to wear, like to the beach. These are fun, 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 fun. Beads. A double donut. <sighs> this is something my daughter would snap up in a hot second. Yes, infinity symbol. Or lazy eights. <laughs> How about a twisted donut, Dawn? <laughs> a twisted donut. Those are good too. That's like eight times four. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put pass and put it in the pass pile. Now, this one's really cool. Looks Tibetan to me. Has the spring ring clasp right there. Box. Oh, you want me to see? Oh, yeah. Guy playing the horn. I think this guy, this one, Don? It's a woman and some birds. And this looks like it's got a covering over it. And it opens up like this. A lot of detail, but it does have some chips down here some condition issues but all in all it's just pretty so I mean if you don't mind a little bit of chippage right here but it is it does have a nice velvet bottom to it so it will not scratch your fine furnishings and it it'll you know slide easily so yeah, this one, it looks like somebody may have lined it and put this on the back, like a corduroy, soft corduroy. And this one will do a starting bid. I'm going to do a starting bid because it has condition issues of five on this one. breakage right there. I have Molly in at five on this beautiful, looks like those are peacocks. Purple Rain came in at five, but um, I have Molly in first at five, so Purple Rain needs to come up. Get that glare off of there. Purple Rain's at seven. Molly's at eight. Let's 
You can put a lot of jewelry in here. Well, you know, maybe three necklaces. Purple Rain is out, sold. I'm gonna put, you were the only two bidding. So I am going to write down sold. There's no other interest. Sold to Molly for $8. Thank you, Molly. Look at this baggie. Yeah, I can do the rest of these. Alabaster. This one is genuine alabaster made in Italy. Clean on the inside. Has the little violets on the surface. This is applied. It's not painted. Look how eight on this guy. Starting bid. Molly in at eight. Jewelry eight. <laughs> well, I'll start something out lower if, you know, like that other box. It's it just, it's got a little bit of damage. I have purple rain in at nine. I'm going to go put that down for a sec. I'm going to go uh, get my stool. Pardon the noise. Molly's in at 10 on the alabaster from Italy. Purple rain's at 11. 11 to purple rain so far. I love it when they have the the tag still on it. Molly's at 12 on the alabaster. Purple's at 13. Thank you, Purple Rain. Thank you, Molly. Say 13 for purple, 14 for Molly. I did notice here, well, that's just a fissure in the stone. It is alabaster. It's not a flaw, it's not broken. So, Molly's at 16. It's already past one o'clock, but I'll just hang out here with you guys. I don't know if anybody else is on right now. Okay. Seventeen for purple rain. Well, none of these items are going to be shipped out until after Tuesday, after my Tuesday sale. So you can always add to it. I combine shipping. So purple rain and it's 17. Oh, my arm. <laughs> Molly's in at 18. Purple Rain's at 19. Sorry, just have to put my 
arm down a little bit. Molly's in at 20 on the alabaster, the green alabaster. Purple Rain is out to Molly. I'm going to go ahead and call it sold. You guys were the only ones bidding, unless somebody else wants to. Come. I'll look for more. I mean, this is the second one I've come across in two weeks, so I'll look for more. Um, so, one going once, going twice. Fair warning. Sold to Miss Molly. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Purple Rain. <laughs> uh, Molly. Yeah, I come across them, well, like I said, two in two weeks. That's not bad. this off. If Sherry is still here. I'll email Sherry about that bracelet. I'm not sure if she's still here. You know, it's Sunday. Blue one. Oh, yes. This is the other cloisonne. Here's the bottom. Kind of a brass tone to it. And then it has a dragon on the top. I don't see any obvious, you know, dings or nicks or anything. Oh, and the acorn I'll do next. So, and then the inside, let me see if I can get that schmutz off. There's some schmutz in here. That'll come off. It's just like a wax or something. Get that off. Yeah. It's wax. on this side. Yeah, somebody had something wax in there, so that should come out. Oh, I'll show that one too. So starting bit on this one is eight. It's kind of a sea blue on the inside. Purple rain in at eight. This one feels like it's really old. Definitely has this classic cloisonne and then the dragon, oh my gosh. Dragon on the top. I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> yeah, this one had five snakes on it, and it's a tiny little box. There are rattlesnakes. <laughs> so, I don't see any other interest in this one. <laughs> Sold. Sold to Purple Rain for eight dollars. I 
Thank you, Purple Rain. Are the snakes there are five snake heads on this one I had this for ten Molly um, requested it to be shown again and it has a retail of 35 there's a little mouse in there but there are like five snake heads in here I'm gonna count the rattlers one two, three rattlers. And it could be eight snakes in there. And it comes in this box. It's from England. And it's a resin. Um, handmade box, boxes from Great Britain. I know. And then there's this little mouse in there. He's probably going to get out. He'll probably run away. <laughs> So, yeah, I had this as a starting bit of of $10. So, if you want this one, Molly, you can get it for 10 Okay, Molly's in at 10 I don't think... Spiders. Yeah, I'm not a fan of spiders, but I don't kill them or anything. I just either move them or because um, they do provide, they do eat other things and birds eat spiders. So it's kind of like the cycle. I think Molly was the only one interested in this. So I'm going to go ahead and call it to Molly. Going once, going twice, fair warning, sold to Molly. That's a killer deal. That's great. Great deal, Miss Molly. In the box it goes. In the bigger bag. I don't know how much it, uh, yes, congratulations, Molly. Congratulations. Okay, now Acorn's next. Oh, it's starting to get hot just in this garage. Hot one out there today, folks. It's a hot one. Okay, acorn. Acorn's next. Cute little acorn. Whoops. Off go the bracelets. <gasps> I might end up standing. Here's the top of the acorn. There's the bottom, it says H-M-K-L-I-C, L-C, it's got a copyright. It's porcelain, bottom, kind of a metal top. Oh gosh, let me open it, yes. It says, blessings are dreams that grow roots. That is so sweet. And, Here's the bottom of the inside, and we'll do a starting bid. We'll do a starting bid of six on this one. It's a nice, it's got a nice finish to it. 
Oh, Jessica is in at eight. So Jessica's in on this one. Purple Rain's at nine. Let's see how far I can Let's put my elbow down. You can see it here. I'm not going to be able to show all the the jewelry that I have um, tonight or today because uh, there's still quite a bit more left. Jessica's in at 10. <laughs> My hand is shaking. Purple Rain's in at 15. This has got this cutest saying in, this, in the lid. Okay, just waiting for... Jessica might be on a slight lag. Boxes are fun. Jessica, just let me know if you're in or out. Okay, Jessica is out, so I am going to go ahead and sell this one. So I'm going to call this Sold to Purple Rain. Thank you, Purple Rain. Thank you so much for your bids. Yay, Purple Rain, that's right. I have one more box here, it's Crystal. Um, it has a gold tone clover, on four leaf clover on the surface. It is glass. Is that, oh, get my towel and see if that'll come off. Yeah. They're fun. Yeah, that, that stuff's coming off. That just needs a little Windex. It's, it's on the surface. And then it has these little notches. This is 24% lead crystal and 24 karat gold plated. Patent pending. Um, let's see. Nineteen eighty six dirty products. Twenty four electro plated. And there's the inside of the back. 
and this came off of it's nothing. And it fits snugly there. And this one, I'll just start it at eight. Wide crystal, 24 karat electro plate. This is minute, minute amount of gold on this. I know anything about electroplating, it's just for color. <laughs> but it is lead crystal. And I'll get that little bit of schmutz off there. I have purple rain at eight. comes off easily, cleans up nicely. I wouldn't put it in a soak or anything, only because I'm afraid that four leaf clover is gonna come off if it's soaked too long. Yeah, it cleaned up. There's no other interest. I'm going to go going once, going twice, fair warning, sold to Purple Rain. Thank you, Purple Rain. I've got to put some plastic or something around this so it doesn't clink together. Stay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Purple Rain. That's a cutie pie. Put a little bit of tape on it so it doesn't get knocked around. I think that's it on the boxes. I think I'm all done with boxes. Back to jewelry. You're welcome. This looks to bin to me. Um, this is really a fun, fun. I love these beads. Look at those beads. They're kind of, they're metal. And then down to these beautiful faux coins and these kinds of things. Needs to be, yeah. Before I clasp it, let's do a measurement. This is 17 inches. So just right below the, the collar there. It is cool. Whoops. <laughs> Gotta clamp it first. Oh, somebody wants to come in. Let me put it over here. Be right there, honey. All right. Let me go let my husband in. open <laughs> yeah that one's pretty we'll do a 
starting bid of 10 on this one. This is cool. This has all those beautiful little stations. These beads right here are so cool. So I'm gonna get a really cool necklace. Interesting too. It looks like it's a coated wire on the inside. And you could possibly um, add to it there's little holes there. I can also bring this out on Tuesday. Or oh, wear it. I think it's stunning. We'll just do a little pass on this. I think it's beautiful. And the, the beads are just so smooth. We'll pass on this one. I'll bring it out on Tuesday because I think there's gonna be some interest in this one. Let me put it in a baggie. So I can remember. Here's another fun one. This one is so cool. This is so pretty. Let me get a measurement. So it starts out at a, I would say 16, but can go all the way up to like 18 and a half or 19, approximately. I like the way this is also woven in together. So you have some, you know, um, shiny ones and some like brushed metal. Very lightweight. This is lightweight. Um, these are extremely hollow beads. Extremely hollow. This needs a little bit of an adjustment there. Easy fix. We'll do a starting bit on this one at eight silver tone and then this these brushed beads shiny and brushed yeah i think we got um a sugar crash going on today <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm going to, you know, I'm thinking about, oh, the chocolate croissant I have in the freezer. Cauliflower pea. Oh, that sounds yummy, actually. That sounds yummy. What do you put on cauliflower? Do you use a red sauce? <laughs> I have these cute little seahorses. A lot here. 
of little seahorses. I got Yippy. Hi, Yippy. How are you? Welcome. Good to see you. It's a good time to get some fantastic jewelry. I purchased this lot from Hudson, Hudson Vintage, How to Collect and Wear It. So I was very happy to get it. And, you know, the, the pieces are just, they're wonderful. Classic. That's so much fun. That's a fun piece. You'll like it. I am going to go ahead and sell it to YPIOA. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> my calendar just told me I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, which they canceled on me Friday. So, yeah, that's upsetting. Okay, seahorse lot. Some of these are... Well, I think they're all, three of them are buttons. And two, I think you can just go ahead and make into like a brooch. So I've got these. These are all seahorses. Oh, I gotta get rid of this chair. Hang on, it's getting in my way. All right, seahorse number one. Let's see, I've got this is a little seahorse encased in an acrylic. And here's another seahorse encased in acrylic, but it's got some confetti around it. This one is thicker than this one. You can see the difference right there. Then I have a, this is a button, but it's ceramic. Nice little button. Here's another button, this is vintage. It's like on acrylic with the rhinestones going around it, a little gold tone seahorse in the center. And then this little guy, the seahorse button. And then finally, I have this cute little wooden one. Oh, he's so adorable. Little tiny itty bitties. He's probably about an inch tall. Detail to him. So that's five pieces. So a little lot of seahorses. No, wait, nope, six pieces. Six. Do a starting bid of five on the seahorses. Little crafty items, but they're fun. I have Molly in at five on the seahorses. Yeah, sometimes you just don't know what to bring you know, or offer. There's something, a little something for everybody. Molly's at six. Cheetah Moose is out. I think I can get those little um, pin
pin uh, adapters like on and just glue them on. They're cool. So I'm going to go ahead and call this sold to Molly. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Tina. Two, three, four, five, six. down yet I'm now all I can think about is a chocolate croissant <laughs> oh this one was so much fun I love this one Here's the maker's mark again. There's the maker's mark. I don't know what that is. Let's take a look. <laughs> JM. I don't know who that is. It's costume, but it's cool costume. This one has a nice long circular chain to it beautifully long then it has all these charms and these these you can take apart and then you can you know move them up the sides this is this is really nice nice chain this one says you are, let's see, um, my family is so loved on this one. Maybe I should bring them up closer. This is like a glass ball bezel set. This one has a T on it. Um, and this one can be easily taken off if your initial is not T. This one comes apart right there. So these are all interchangeable. This says Faith. And there's another mark there, same mark that's on the chain. I, I don't know. Yeah, same mark that's on the chain. Let me see what it says. Is there words on it? Nope. This one has an angel on the front. And then it says, may there always be an angel by your side. Love, I think I showed that one. Be blessed, have courage, be true. Sister love, make sisters make the best friends. And faith. And those charms are interchangeable. You can move the charms up and down. Or you can remove whatever you need to remove. Or leave them all like that. And we're gonna do a Sunday crazy eight starting bid of eight dollars. I'm not familiar with that maker, but the, the charms are just something else. Molly's in at eight. And they're all, you can, they all have like little spring ring clasps or um, lobster clasp. Yeah, this is definitely a faith-based is for. A 
But that one was a fun one. I opened it. I loved all those little charms. They're fun. And again, what personally I would do is I would graduate them up the sides. But that's how it came to me. I'm going to go ahead and call it Sold to Molly. Thank you, Molly. Yeah, I know that's something you would love. Most people would love that. Everybody's so full on pancakes and... Oh, I have this funny little thing here. It's a Singer sewing machine. Oh, found another seahorse button, Molly. And put that with a lot. <laughs> Thought I had them all. This is so, one of those little unusual things that you find in lots. It's actually a miniature, a miniature Singer sewing machine. Maybe for an old timey Barbie. <laughs> it's no, nothing on the back. Singer on the front. Doesn't look terribly old. And it's on this cord. <laughs> it's cute. It's heavy metal. I mean, it's like a pop metal maybe. So starting bid five on the singer. Oh, interesting. Gina wants it for 10. Okay. <laughs> Don is out. Purple rain's in at 11. Gina's in at 15. No, poor t poor. no, nothing spins on it. It's just a little metal painted. Well, it looks like everybody's out, but Gina. But sold. Sold to Gina. Thank you, Gina. Thank you all for your bids. It's just one of those things that I, you know, there, it's no maker's mark other than Singer. Okay, I have this lot of pill boxes, and they're cute. This one right here, little Damascene. Open. It's got a coating on the inside. Cute little Damascene. That's a true Damascene, but it's it doesn't look to me like it's vintage Damascene. Just a small one inch. Somebody tore off the label. But that right there is a true, you know, carved metal Damascene. So I have that one. Also in the lot is mother and child. This is porcelain top. There's the inside. There's the bottom.
This one's really, this reminds me of the 60s. So there's the inside of this one. There's the bottom. It's pretty clean. And the top has all these lovely little encrusted pearls. Snaps shut. Like that. Yes, congratulations, Gina. And this looks like it's, um, open this one. Two days worth of pills. <laughs> it, you can almost use this as a mirror, it's so shiny. <gasps> it does have some wear. Oh, no, it's coming off. Some wear. And it's porcelain top. This looks like a scene from the Sistine Chapel, the angels. So I'm gonna sell all of these as a lot. This is heavy. And the Damascene. So we will do all four of those. <laughs> Everybody's back. They woke up from their sugar crash. Fiorucci, all right. I'll do a starting bid. I'll do a starting bid of 10 on all of these. I have Bobby in at 10. Molly's at 12. Purple Rain's in at 13. Bobby's in at 14. Yeah, I usually sell my Domicene, you know, especially this size for 12 bucks starting. So, um, and I know Molly's in at 15. Purple Rain 16. I see Purple Rain first at 16. Bobby's in at 17. Molly's in at 18. And this is probably from the 60s. It feels like it. Purple Rain's in at 19. Oh, hold my arm up. I have Bobby in first at 20. Yeah, I know everybody woke up from their donut high. <laughs> oh, I just have to put my arm down a little bit. Molly's in at 21. Bobby's in at 22. Yeah, I'm selling them as a lot because I didn't want to, you know, individually do it because, you know, Purple Rain is out. So Bobby's the one to beat. <laughs> I know, but I don't feel like I've gotten a workout though. Molly's in at 23. Oh, soft serve. <laughs> the girl after my own heart. Oh my gosh. Bobby's in at 24. Molly's in at 25. Up and down. Up and down. That's right. Get some exercise. Up and down. Up and down. Actually, that works really nice because, you know, gives my arm a rest. I won't do it so fast. I think it's between Bobby and Molly. Okay, holding it down for a minute. 
Bobby's in at 26. Yeah, these two are porcelain. This has got like a faux pearl 60s vibe to it. And then the Damascene. Molly is out to Bobby at 26. Congratulations, Bobby. I need a nice bag for this. That's a good dealio. Thank you so much, Bobby. I'm gonna write sold so no one else can come in. I do have another box, but hmm. I don't think it's quality. I'll show it to you. Just kind of like I shoved it off to the side. Maybe I'll add some earrings to it. It's sweet. It looks like it's in like a, a film tin. Like somebody recycled a film tin but put a sand dollar on the top. can add some earrings to it. Maybe I can fill it. There's some crystal earrings. Just some vintage smalls. Here's some more crystal. Oops, I don't want that. Some more crystal earrings. I think that's all I have laying around here. Pierced earrings in a box. And I also have these. These are nice. I put new pads on the back. I'll put, they fit, so I might as well put them in the box, right? This looks like, um, it's faux turquoise and probably faux tiger eye on probably coated metal, coated with copper. Those are cool, but I'm not, you know, I have too many earrings. So this box. I know, pill boxes can be so cool. So we'll just do a starting bid. $8, including all of the earrings inside. And you got this vintage film box with a sand dollar on the top. Let's see if I can add any more earrings. I don't think I have any other earrings handy anyway. Do. It's from the Dawn lot. Well, maybe not. Those are way cool. You know what I have? These are really cool. I'll add, I've got Purple Rain in at eight. These are feathers. These are nice. Really cute feathers. They're not too big and they're not too small. And they are about an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. So not too big. Yeah, these are really nice and not too small. They're like the perfect size. I have purple rain in at eight. Okay, forget 
those. These are cool. Basically, I'm selling the earrings for eight because that's the best part of the whole box. These are the sweetest. There's the backs. Oh, that's right here. I haven't sold that yet. So these, yeah, those, those feather earrings. Hi, Christina. So I'm just going to go ahead and sold, call this sold. This is um, a wonderful little box of goodies, Purple Rain. Yeah, you got a good deal because one of those the pairs of earrings are stunning. Those feather earrings. Yes, there's stories behind it. every piece of jewelry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, why mess up a bowl of, with ice cream? You know, just go get a, <laughs> just go get it in a cone and then you don't have to wash a cone. All right. I'm gonna sell these together. This is genuine puka. I can kind of tell just by the way it's made. These might be shell here. It almost looks like little fetish animals, but they're not. This is just lovely. I mean, this is definitely a beach, beach wear. I'm pairing it, marrying it with this, these beautiful pearlized beads, gold tone findings. I love it. This is so sweet. Oh, thank you. I pressed them on this morning. Just press them on. This is so sweet. I'll do a starting bid of... We'll go ahead and do a starting bid of eight. And if no one wants this, I'm going to take it to my daughter who loves to go to the beach. Since I'm going to be visiting her at the... Oh, Molly wants it for eight. I mean, it's definitely about the necklace. This is truly vintage screw barrel clasp. Right there. And... The length on this... length on this is about 15, 16 inches. This one's sweet. This is just the perfect addition to a, a nice little sh shift you're wearing. Um, the color, the lavender on this is so nice. Those beads. I mean, it does have um, these crimped edges here. Um, it could have been made by somebody way back in the 60s, for all I know. Because it does have that, you know. And these are worn, they're worn down so that they all fit in snug. Those beads are snug. Yeah. And these shells have like a lot of little detail to them. Look at that. It's got a little curl there. Two little curls. Like the insides of shells. Oh, wow. Love it. 
and a little cute little stretchy to go with it. Yeah, this is, um, you know, it's hard to find authentic puka. I mean, the real deals. <laughs> and then they have these mother of pearl beads right there in the center. And this is nicely, I mean, this is coated wire. So yeah, this isn't going anywhere. This is, this ain't breaking. I'm going to go ahead and call it sold. Sold to Molly. Yeah, that's a pretty one, Molly. Very pretty. Have this hot pink Avon piece. Good clamp, very clean on the inside. If you are an Avon collector, you will appreciate this. It almost looks Kate Spade like. This is Avon right there. But hot pink, hot, hot pink. That's a nice bracelet. Avon. Let me give you a calibration on this one. I have Molly in at eight. It sits right at a seven, probably. It's maybe a little less than a seven, smaller than a seven. But it's not going to go anywhere, no matter what size wrist you have. Molly's getting some cool jewelry today. The color is awesome. That is hot, hot pink. Stay. This necklace is next. This necklace is next. I honestly fell in love. This is really, it's way older. This could be, you know, 50s, 40s. Just by the look of the beads. Nice and long. Measure this out before I show it. Two inches on this one, and you can probably triple this because it has a clasp. Let me see the clasp. So I'm going to go ahead and call it sold. Sold to Molly. Okay, so these guys looks like painted milk glass to me. These are lovely. You could probably triple this because it does have a clasp. It's 22 inches wearable length, so total length is 44. But look at this. I felt like I hit the honey hole when I saw this. These are glass. Beautiful, pastel, summery, spring. This is just, I mean, this is Magnifico. This is, oh my gosh, I love that one. And I'm not gonna start it at eight. It's gonna be starting of 
Oh, let's do this one. I'm going to do a starting bit of 16 on this one. Because it's worth more than that. Way more than that. That is... has little shiny ones over here. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to wear it. Yeah, it doubles nicely right over the head. But you can probably triple it into a choker um, without any difficulties. Well, guess what, folks? This is going to be sold. I'm buying it. <laughs> it's mine. I own it now. <laughs> I want to keep it. That's, that's mine now. Sold. Sold to me. <laughs> that's going up in my jewelry box. Sorry. Okay, so this one is super nice. This one has a really good feel to it. Find the end of it. And these are almost plum. Yeah, congratulations, yay, me. <gasps> I just, I love the old fashioned jewelry. This is magnifico, this piece. Here's the end. I need to put like a little ring on there so that it'll, that I have to fix. Easy fix, just needs a little, one of these little roundies. Um, but this one's long. This one has black, purple, and green in it. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10 strands, 10 strands, and it's very, very long. This is so pretty, and it feels so good. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to charge myself $6, you betcha. <laughs> no way. Okay, this one has a drop of 17 inches, and you could probably double it. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. That's amazing. It's got those forest green, and they're probably stone beads. I'll bet you this is all stone. I wonder if my gem tester will test any of these. Hard to test the little tiny ones. Yeah, those are stone. At least some of them are stone. And it's going up to amethyst. So there are little amethyst beads in there. And there's your finishes. There's probably other stone. Oh gosh, this is another pretty one. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do a starting bid. Of ten dollars on this one. This is too gorgeous. That is way pretty. Way pretty. Oh, and then there's this beautiful set here. Yes. These look like, when I'm holding in my hand, they look like um, abalone or some sort of a shell. These are all so pretty. I'm going to do a pass on this 
one. Oh, Tina Moose. Tina Moose is in at 10. Thank you, Tina. To wake up those guys that are, you know, still sleeping from their sugar high. All those donuts and pancakes and stuff. bigger baggie came out of one. Uh, oh yes I have a good baggie right here all of these came in individual baggies practically so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this to Tina thank you Tina <sighs> no sugar needed well, what happens is when everybody knows this, I mean, I'm sure you have any kind of sugar that, oh my gosh, you're like, your body's trying to use it all up. And then all of a sudden you crash. Best way to fight that is to have a stick of cheese to fight fatigue. Thank you, Tina. That's a good one. And this batch won't go out until after my sale on Tuesday. This I thought was gorgeous. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see it pretty good. The iridescence on this necklace pendant. It almost looks like mother of pearl or abalone is in there. It's just crazy. And it comes with pierced earrings. Look at those. Those are magnificent. Has a snake chain. Nowhere. And there's it's got the nice little weighted finish so that little dangle at the end. This is incredible. <laughs> These guys are gorgeous. do a starting bid. I don't even know how much to start this for. They're so pretty. Yeah, they are mesmerizing. And they're practically brand new. I'll do a starting bid of 12 on these. If they don't sell here, I'll bring them on Tuesday. Not a problem. But these are just like, they'll see you coming from a mile away wearing these. T. Marie is in at 12. I didn't get you. I think the the chain. Put these up here. It's uh, extend. It's got an extender. Yeah, remember these these I got from you know a sale that Don was having seven and a half inch drop, but there's a two inch extender, so it's got it would have like a an eight inch drop. And she doesn't sell garbage. She sells good stuff. So I bought, bought all of these from a lot that she had from her members only. And look at, isn't that stunning? Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. And this is something, um, Tina Moose is in at 13. This is something where I would not break up the set because these are so connected. I mean, you can wear them separately. I mean, it's, they're yours to do with what you want to with them. Eight inch, uh, let me give you the whole shoot and match here from end to end wearable chain. With, well, I'll give you 
I'll give you what it is at the very end of the extender. The very last link. <laughs> Magic fingers. Okay. Wearable length is eight and a half fully extended. So that means it's a 17 inch chain. Yeah. I When I purchase chains for pendants, I never get anything less than an 18 inch. T. Marie's in at 14. So the entire length of the chain is 17 and a half. Yes, they are pierced. I didn't say, but they're pierced. Tina's in at 15. There's the earrings. Here's the backs. Yeah, everything I got from her is clean, wearable. And, you know, it's... It's just, you know, the better costume, I would think. Tina Marie is in at 16. Tina Moose is out to T. Marie. I'm going to go ahead and call those sold since you guys were the only ones interested. So 16 for T. Marie. Thank you so much and thank you for your bids. That is a stunning set, T. Marie. Stunning. Okay, this one was fun and I really appreciate the way that uh, Dawn wrapped this up only because you kind of have to wrap it up like that because it, it, um, it will tangle up just on its own, <laughs> but it's a stunner. Yeah, once you untangle these, you have to um, store them either hanging. Okay, so this one does not have a clasp. This one's long. It's got the O-rings here. Then it's got these beautiful silver tone and black chains along with these AB crystals. Well, they're, they're AB coated or silver coated. Um, and I believe they, they feel like they're glass. And this is long. This is so long. This one has a length of, I would say, wearable length of 19 inches. So it's a long one. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So I will just loop it over like that. I'm gonna put this away carefully the way I found it. Is it? Okay, close. I need more. 
more slack, buddy. All right. Isn't that beautiful? I'll do a starting bit on this one of 10. And this is classy, very classy, quite classy. Great for a New Year's Eve party. I mean, it's just beautiful. Yeah, she had it wrapped up in a Ziploc and then wrapped it around the Ziploc just to keep it nice like this. And that's probably the, either store it that way or hang it. I'm gonna add another little fun piece. I'll bet you this looks really cool with it. Let's see. Add this cute little piece. Well, I have to give the credit to Dawn for all of these because, um, yeah. Yeah, these I can't claim. Oh, gosh, these chains right here are so pretty. I mesmerized the quality. That's a quality piece. Oh, prices. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, um, there's a mathematical method to my madness here. Um, it has to do with math for me. <laughs> I can explain it to you later, but... Got ice cream with ice cream on top. Oh, wow. Did it melt? <laughs> I am going to re-offer this one on Tuesday so be on the lookout but I was telling I was telling the chat Don how you wrapped this particular one and I really appreciate it when my mom was unpacking I mean you had it in a Ziploc bag like this and then you wrapped it around like this and then you put it in a baggie like this at least i think you did because i would never have thought to do this this is ingenious and then it just doesn't get tangled with itself it comes out so nice i <laughs> call Jewelry burritos, yes. And you do that a little bit better, but it's it's not gonna go anywhere. Although I probably should have wrapped it a little bit better, but um, it just keeps them from tangling. We don't have a Carvel here. Cheesecake hard pack with vanilla soft serve. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> Fudgy the whale. <laughs> funny. You guys are too funny. You're too funny. Okay. These earrings look like Brighton to me. I'll look for a mark. Of course, there is no mark. The earrings. Because they're earrings. It's hard to mark earrings. But these are beautiful. Let's see if I 
can hold them up. Look at those. They're pierced. Beautiful dangles. And look at the side markings. That It just kind of reminds me of Brighton. Look at those. They might be Brighton. I just don't see any bees or hearts or anything. I'm not a Brighton expert. I just know I love Brighton. Just starting bid. I'll just keep with the, the lazy eight. Lazy crazy eight of it all. Oh, you know what I can do? I can hang them. I can hang them. I have Bobby in at eight. And that is translucent green glass up top. And kind of a shining coating on the back. Did I hit the camera? I must have hit the camera. Didn't mean to. Let's see, bring it down a little like that. Cores. Hmm. Cores ice cream. Yeah, I've been thinking about how getting me some sorbet. Our sorbet went from like five dollars for a little little tiny container like that to like nine dollars. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do in order to fix a craving. I do love sorbet. Raspberry. <laughs> I was going to get out that raspberry piece. I have a whole, whole nother. I have a lot more of this jewelry from this lot that I'm going to have to bring on Tuesday. Go ahead and call those sold to Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. It's kind of a buy it now, but you know, it gives other people some time to get in on it. Oh, oh that sounds wonderful. Hi, Mishka. Hi, my darling. My darling Mishka. <sighs> What are you doing? What did you have for breakfast? Did you have donuts or pancakes? Because we're now into snack time and uh, Dawn with Hudson Vintage, she just went and got um, hard pack and soft, uh, soft serve ice cream. And um, now we're talking about ice cream. French toast, perfect. French toast, uh, yeah, that goes along the lines with the sugar highs everybody is having today. <laughs> this is for Bobby. I think Mindy Lou might have been interested in this raspberry. Amazing raspberry piece. I'm not sure if I'm the only one on today. I know Kraken wasn't on. Tanya can't come on because she's not feeling well. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wonder if Mindy Lou is still here. You still here, Mindy Lou? <laughs> she was here earlier. I think she asked about this piece in my chat or my uh, comment section. I just want to untangle it a little bit.
Look at her. Oh, I can't get the full effect here because she is just gorgeous. Put it on like that. I mean, uh, I got to show it to you this way first. Really, really long extender. It's a the little weighted thing on the back. It's so cute. And then you have all of these gorgeous red raspberry gold tone fiesta festival oh gem show oh my gosh yeah um i imagine they probably had tons of jewelry there it's hard to go to those things because, you know, you wonder, am I paying retail? <laughs> so without the extender, this one has a drop of 15 and a half inches. There's that piece. It's so long. I mean, this right here has got to be at least six to eight inches. The tussel. Oh, it's six. Six inches. Six inch tassel. Beautiful stations. For wine, yeah, well, you know, when you don't have plumbing, you gotta go to a friend's house. <laughs> Might as well have some wine and look at jewelry and have some fun with jewelry. All right. This is a fun, fun necklace. Okay, so we'll do a starting bid of $12. I have Molly in at 12 for this beautiful raspberry, I almost want to say raspberry beret. <laughs> but it's not a beret. Call it a raspberry parade. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh my gosh. Don, I would love that. Go to a friend's house, post COVID, have some wine. Oh my gosh. Not that COVID's over, it's just, you know, I think, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's on a downward trend. And that people who do get it only get mild symptoms. Glad we have a lot of that under control, but you know, I live with my mom and she's 87 and I just, I don't want to infect her. And so I still have to be quite careful. Oh, I have family in Arizona. I haven't seen in a long time. And Kirsten's in Arizona. So, sounds like a wonderful place to go to. Now, I was in Arizona in July one year to, for a wedding. And, oh yeah, 85, you bet. You got to be careful because, you know, they might be healthy people, but you just don't want them to get sick. And I think, actually, I think my mom had it because she was hospitalized almost instantaneously in 2019 for an unknown virus. It was bizarre. She was fine one day and then it just hit her hard the next day. Mwah. <laughs> you have fun. Want to hear all about it. Um, but yeah, it's, you don't want to mess with elderly. 
anybody who's compromised. Yeah, you have fun. Yeah, I'm about ready to wrap it up. I mean, I've been on since 11, and it's 2.30. I can try and Haskell belts. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, I want to see those. The more I know about Haskell, I mean, I, my mouth just waters. Oh, my gosh. Oh, let's get back to this auction here. Talking about wine and jewelry and Haskell and ugh, COVID. Ugh. But I'm very pleased that our mommies are with us, that are with us and are healthy. Yes, take pictures. Well, video. Videotape. Or videotape. No one uses that term anymore. Just yet, do a video on it. That would be cool. <gasps> All right, so I'm just going to call this sold. Sold to Molly. Oh. I don't think I'm going to stay on longer than three because that would be like four hours. And, uh... a little longer because you know Christina came in Mishka came in and it's fun to chat amongst friends because you know and you know you want to be safe and secure where you are oh what have I else have I got what else I have a lot more from this purchase from Dawn. She said I could use her name because I want, you know, that's a nice long unisex chain. Um, oh yes, Karen. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Yeah, I'll hang out for a little while longer. Um, yeah, Sunday's busy. Uh, Karen, earlier we were talking about breakfast, and a lot of people had donuts, pancakes, and French toast, and a paleo bar. And then we went into snacks. We got pizza and um, ice cream. Yeah, anything from Donna is amazing. That's why I went ahead and, and pushed forward on this lot, because, um, yeah, I mean... All the jewelry anybody's getting from here came from Dawn, and um, it uh, it's all quality pieces. You know, she has some amazing things that she puts on for auction that, you know, are incredible. But, you know, cheese. Cheese is good, Tina. Cheese is good snack. Yeah. My mom was up. She's her her unit. She has a, a little in law unit upstairs. <laughs> I just heard her sneeze. I don't know if you heard her sneeze. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna pair it with this. So you have a his and hers kind of situation going on here, or a hers and hers, or a you know wear them both together. This is just pretty. This chain is nice and long. And it's smooth and silky. And I gotta check. I don't think it's silver. I'm almost positive it's not. This is not marked. There's a little bit of pull. Yeah, there's pull. So if anything, if there's any silver content in it at all, it's extremely minimal. Minimal. I'm gonna put this in the past lot. All those are passed on. So yeah, I'll, I'll do these two together. They're sweet. They're fun. Uh, you, can, you can wear these together or separately, or you can give this to, you know, this, this just is kind of a unisex. Let me get your length. <laughs> I, um, it's a long one. Oh, 
this? 29 inches. So the wearable on this one is 19 and a half. Yeah. Do math in my head. This also has a spring ring clasp. See, I don't know. Can you see? There we go. Spring ring. This one has. Where's the clasp on it? Is there a clasp? It's got to be a clasp. How does this one open? Oh, yeah. Also, spring ring on that one. So, I would call them vintage. Yeah, I would wear a chain like this. Depends on the outfit, but I would wear a chain like this. There's some words on it. That's on the other side, maybe. I can't make out the, the letters. It keeps flipping over on me. Says Korea on it. Vintage Korea. Silver tone. It might have a silver plate to it because it does show a little bit of tarnish. I do not take tarnish off plated things. This one. I don't have a measurement on this one. I've got these like pinched beads right there. It's got some weight to it, so it feels good. This one is like a really smooth snake chain ish. Really nice. Oh, I didn't get a measurement on this one. I know it's a choker. Choker links. There's no, you could get extenders. I also have extenders, but if you would like an extender, just let me know. This one, 16 and a, a half, 16 and a half net. to starting bid ten dollars on both chains you get two chains it's not for choice it's for both I'm just putting this one back together so I can hang it Molly at 10. I'm doing an auction today because, you know, just to give everybody a chance. It does take a little longer, but it is what it is. this. 
I try to be fair. And most, I mean, everybody, everybody, I have no complaints whatsoever in the chat. Everybody's been gracious and caring and kind. No, this is not sterling. Nope. I had a paper towel floating around here somewhere. Just get another one. Always looking for I'm always sourcing different avenues I'm just gonna go ahead and call this sold sold to Molly It's a sweetie. Oh yeah, um, you can put all kinds of stuff on it, on this chain. Yes, you may, Molly. Let me put that in the baggie so I can remind myself. Pig and a cow. Pig and a cow. This I thought was really pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at how sweet this is. I don't know if I can get close enough. It's kind of smallish, but it's super dainty. It's got these moon glow type things and some frosted glass. And yeah, this was also from Dawn's collection. That is just lovely. Oh. That is just so nineteen twenty eight looking, and I've you know it's. It's not a 1928. I don't want to give anybody the impression that it is. It does have a mark. It says, Leah Sophia. It's a Leah Sophia. And it says so right there. Right there, Leah Sophia. I don't know how close I can get. It does have an extender and there is a dip. So um, I can't give you an accurate or semi-accurate, but from end to end, it's 18 and a half inches. And then it has this little dip. I'm gonna do a starting bid of crazy eight. Crazy eight day. Crazy, lazy, daisy, eight day. I'll bring it closer so you can see it up close.
chain. I think I'll save it for a pendant. It's a nice long one. They've come with a pendant. Maybe the pendant's hanging around here somewhere. I will go ahead. I'll put this in my chain jar. on this one and This is cool. It has a tube, tubular kind of thing going on here with gunmetal. A lot of, and it's got a nice long chain. It is, it is hollow. So it's not gonna like, you know, if you're moving around, it's not gonna smack you in the face or anybody else in the face. <laughs> It'll, or if it does, it, it won't hurt them terribly. It does have a mark. It says, Tiny itty bitty mark. NWT. To me, that means new with tags. I don't know what NWT means. Because it's not new with tags, but it looks pretty new. Did I measure it? I'm just going to measure it. I don't remember if I measured it. It's got a nice long, long chain. Yeah, this one has a 16 and a half inch drop. Bring it up close. Just a long tube of encrusted pave set rhinestones the pendant itself is three inches just looks like a on the back it looks like a hummingbird feeder so let's see there we go nice chain nice necklace do a starting Eight, my favorite number today. Where is everybody? Wake up. I guess it's nap time. <laughs> this, is chain. this is another chain. Oh, this one's a cool chain. Put it in my chain jar. I know. I was just thinking the same thing, Tina. Oh my gosh. I know. Give me the shopping cart. Give me the checkbook. I'm off to get snacks. And I'll bet you there might be some donuts on that list. Let's do a lot of stretchies. This one has hematite. It's not really a stretchy, it's a Shambhala style hematite and these beautiful disco balls, pink and white. We're going to pass on this guy. Yes. 
sorbet. I need some sorbet. Oh, I also have a 12 Days of Christmas bracelet. I will bring that out next. We'll do this lot of stretchies. I didn't test that. I don't know if it's sterling, but it's on. This feels like stone. Stone. Let me see if it registers. All I can tell you. Yeah, this is stone. It's registering, interestingly enough, in the amethyst quadrant. So we have that one. Um, let me put a magnet on it. <laughs> if I can find my magnet. Oh yeah, it's right where I keep it. Now there's pull. So I don't think it's sterling. This is a wood stretchy. This also has a disco ball on it. Nice vintage looking color, kind of a peach tone. Another wood stretchy, these little flat ones. I think I had them all on during my video. <laughs> Yeah, mine's not buffering. I, that was my issue from last time. But this has the Shambhala on it. You can tighten it. It's just, I, you know, what I do, and I'm not going to do it, is I usually, on these kind of bracelets, one goes there in the mouth, and the other one goes, so you can tighten it. That's how I do it when I'm by myself. If my husband's with me, he can tighten it for me. But all these, you can have all these. There's five here, five bracelets. Oh, you're killing me, Tina. We'll do a starting bid of, we'll go ahead and do a starting bid of eight. Hi, Ramel. Nice to see you in the chat. Molly's in at eight. Molly likes pink. She also likes stretchy. <laughs> Again, these are all from what I purchased from Hudson Vintage. It was a members only sale and you can become a member on her channel for the low price of one dollar a month and you have inside access yes this would actually go really nice with that wood heart you got i probably should have put them in there with that i know This has a little mark on the a little spacer bead right there. I mean, I, I prefer to sell things singly, but you know, when I just, I don't want to sell, you know, especially if I'm doing an auction, um, I can do more jewelry this way during an auction. So I'm gonna go ahead and list that as sold to Molly in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Molly. Thank you, Molly. Congratulations.
Now this is a necklace I got from, also from Hudson. These are little glass. I think they're, yeah, they, they feel like they're glass. Aren't they glass? Let me double check. Oh, wait a minute. These might be stone. Clear stone. Maybe a quartz. I don't know. But they're registering a stone. Kind of like... I do need to calibrate my... So is this sterling? I don't see any indication of sterling. Magnet. Hmm. Well, time to do a test. It's, hmm. By doing a scratch test, I'm not harming the piece. I do have to be careful though, so. This has a paper clip chain. These are registering more than glass. I don't know what they are. Let me do a little drop on this. I don't think it's sterling. No, it is not sterling. But I do have, I'm going to pair it with something that I have, which I do believe is sterling. But I'll double check. Yeah, I've been, um, a lot of the, um, I don't know, it's a different color. Um, been look at that one that one's pretty it almost looks like it's missing something from the bottom there but I don't know maybe another little droplet these are cute little delicate necklaces no that one's none of them are sterling no sterling on that at all. Be careful with this acid. But they're pretty. You can wear them together or separately, obviously. This one is tiny. Here's the, it's a shepherd's hook closure. And This one has a nice finish to it. This one is 16 and a half, maybe 16 and three quarters on this one. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. What is it, 303? I'm gonna pretty much wrap it up at some point. So there's this one, seven and a half, very airy and light, pink with some white crystal. I don't know if there was maybe a, a little crystal drop there or not. This is how I got it. This is not from Dawn, but this other one is. Paperclip chain. It is right now its smallest size and this one is nine inch with a 12 two more inches well maybe three more inches extend extendable so it gives you an extra inch and a half so there's that one very pretty 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 do a starting bid of eight 
for both. You get two for eight. I have Tina Moose at eight. Yeah, these are registering on the gem tester. I'm not calibrated correctly, but they're um, they're at least glass. <laughs> at the very least. Okay, Tina Moose, I will call it for you in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Tina Moose. Thank you, Tina. Good deal. Okay, I got a couple of Chico's pieces, and then I'm going to call it a day. I still have lots to do. And I'll be back on Tuesday, right after Gina Gay's Taco Tuesday. Okay, so this is some sort of cording that's kind of washed in a copper paint. This is cool. Says Chico's right there. Nice large lobster claw. These are not amber, of course, but these are really cool lucite pieces. Let me get you a length. Including the extent, well, including the extender. This is tough. <laughs> it want, the cord wants to bounce back, so let's see what we got here. It's about 19 and a half, including the extender. And just before the extender, it is looks like a six, well, longer than a 16. About 17 inches. Oh, bye, Molly. We will see you Tuesday. So this is a Chico's piece. Right here. That is cool. Cool Chico's piece. Kind of an orangey amber. And then you've got the copper coated cording and it's tied in between, hand tied in between. Do a starting bid on Chico's. Ten dollars. Now we're talking about French fries. Oh, Mishka, you're killing me. <laughs> French fries. Oh my gosh. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> that is so funny. 
This is kind of like a, a channel for foodies. Yeah, I think almost everybody's left the chat practically. Um, I see four people in the chat, but that doesn't mean anything. Because um, that's also including me since I'm on my, on my iPad. But I do have a couple of Chico's pieces. And I will do starting bid $10 for choice and then call it a night. This also says Chico's. Now, wait a minute. Yes, Chico's. I thought it said Leo Sophia, but it does say Chico's. So we're on to the fries, eh? Talking about dinner. Well, I'm having leftover chicken marsala over brown rice. FYI. In case you were wondering what I was eating <laughs> later, after I have my chocolate croissant. So 20 inches wearable, and it has an additional, I would say, four inch extender. Yeah, this was it from the bacon book. So it's chicken marsala with bacon. So this is Choice Chico's. These are, they kind of look like wood, but they, well, they probably are wood, but they're, they're heavier than wood. Feels soft and smooth. Excellent bead choice. I mean, Chico ha Chico's has it. I mean, they are so underrated. So underrated. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I have, um, I'm trying to set this up before Tuesday. See if I can get, you know, more power to my my phone. But um, we shall see. Anyway, so I think it's about time to call it quits. I'm hungry and I'm tired and there's but make sure everybody, you know, you give me a thumbs up, please. This was a fun sale. I totally enjoyed it. Uh, Hudson Vintage has wonderful items. And I'm happy to be able to, you know, participate in her members only. And um, I'll bring these back on Tuesday. You can think about it. You can email me. My email's pinned. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I gotta open this up and set it up. I hope it's easy. The other kind I got, that you just plugged them right into the... Thank you, Bobby. I just plug them right into the outlet and they power on as an extender. They just link up to the existing. All right, well, time to just, this is my, this is how I shut down. I turn off the lights. And just start closing it down. Turn off this light. Oh, so soothing. Yeah, that was a great sale. It was so much, yes. I, I just, I, I was hap I'm happy to be able to spend this length of time with you. It only happened because, you know, there were um, like three other sale, sale, sellers that were, one was si one sick, the other, Tanya. Um, Sue wanted a day off, she should. Same thing with Kraken, they were both having marathon weeks. So it's just, it's time to put your feet up, ladies, and uh, just kind of enjoy your Sunday. And then it's my turn, my turn to be on a marathon. <laughs> anyway, so on that note, 
I will wish you all a good day. Thank you all.